What's going on guys? Wednesday morning. I woke up really early to edit yesterday's vlog and found out that I forgot to turn on the mic. Have it on today, starting today off good. On my way to work. My new Christmas present. Just got to work. Our office, our office is such a mess. A huge mess. Check this out. Anybody want some of those eggs? Decided to get out of the office, try to shoot a couple time lapses around my work. They won't be too exciting because there's not a whole lot around here. Um, but just wanted to go for a walk. I'd sit at my desk and uh, I just gotta get up and move, I can't sit there all day. Those guys, they were looking at me weird walking around with this big old camera rig. Here, I'll, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's, it's a bit too much? And this is what it looks like, is that, is that too much? Alright, so I, I was just taking that walk at work and a buddy of mine and I were kind of talking back and forth on text and we were talking about comparing ourselves to others and like how that, that hurts our self-confidence and stuff. So with all my reading lately and uh, thinking about this same kind of idea, I think my personal thought is, is that competition is ultimately bad. Competition is actually bad and hurts a lot of people. It hurts businesses, it it hurts relationships. Because when you're competing, you're comparing yourself to what somebody else is doing. And the people that are really succeeding at whatever it is in life, they're not competing. You may think that they are, but they're on their own level, they're doing their own thing, they're out sailing on their own path. And while they're out looking at kind of what everybody else is doing they're still staying true to what to what they set out to do and they're not letting people deter them from that path and the people that are bragging about beating the competition and thinking that they're the greatest and whatever it is are the people that aren't really truly succeeding at whatever it is that they're doing on a personal level too like comparing is the same thing as competing if we're trying to keep up with the Joneses and have everything that our neighbor has our friends have whatever 
we're ultimately just driving ourselves down and not obtaining what we want to do. Or if we are moving in that direction, we're moving much slower than we would if we just set out on our own to do whatever it may be that you want to do. If you just set out on that and did it your own way, you will have much greater results than than trying to get whatever it is that somebody else has. Don't let other people's success be what you determine as successful. Doing whatever it is that you want to do, that is success. So in the last three or four years, I felt personally that I've really grown up and kind of changed my, my thought on that. And I, I used to want the money, the cars, the house, and everything that I deemed as successful. Now, since I started doing this video stuff, it, it's made me realize that at the end of the day, all I want to do is wake up in the morning, go to bed at night, and this here in between, I want to be doing whatever it may be that I want to do, whether it's creating videos, designing things for the web, like learning new things, reading books, and the more of whatever I want to do in between that time, to me, is successful. But if I were to compare myself to to my friends, it I wouldn't be doing that. I wouldn't be chasing that. I would be doing things I didn't want to do for things that I don't really want. And and yeah, this is like my first time talking to the camera, so this is probably a lot of rambling. And I gotta get back to work now. The only person I'm competing with is is myself. I'm trying to better myself at creating these videos, talking to the camera, editing, and just learning as much as I possibly can in that time period when I wake up before I go to bed. Talking back to work, there's one last thing. And it's it's <laughs> I guess it's what I really wanted to get out in that whole long ramble session about how competing is bad and and why I believe it's bad is because when I first set out to do this this video deal, I was comparing myself to people that had been doing it for five years, right? And you may be doing this too. And when I went out to create, I started filming and then I realized I had, I had nothing to film all day. And then I realized my editing skills sucked. And then I realized that I couldn't talk in front of the camera. So I had these high hopes of what other people were doing and I'm not there. And then as soon as I uploaded the first video, my hopes were crushed and I just wanted to, to not do it and give up on it because then I thought that I can't do what these people are doing. My stuff looks nothing like theirs, yet they've been doing it for five, eight, 10 years and I'm just, I'm behind. And the only way that I'm gonna do it is getting better, beating myself day in and day out and the success and quality in these videos will come. I don't know if any of this made any sense. No, now really, I gotta go back to work. thing drive around the track and now we're going back to work the car finally broke So today's vlog has been all over the place. I haven't done much of it. Been in and out of cars, running all over. We're taking off now though, heading to Placerville. This and then a Coke to drink. We're, we're okay. eating really healthy, we're here at Popeyes. Can I get a, what's the five piece meal? That's the seven. Can I get a number seven with fries? You are on the face. So we made it, 
for it. No, I cannot explain how remote this place is. I could have logged. I couldn't have logged any of it oh, because it's so dark. <laughs> Does it get you? Uh, huh? <laughs> Does it get you? Uh, we drove straight here. What? We drove straight here. You guys made it. A lot of people get lost like because of the private roads and well, stuff. Well, dude, for like the last I mean, it six would be miles, confusing, it was yeah, like cause... isolation. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my friend, like one of my friends when they first came up here, they were like, um, like, dude, is this the road to deliveries, man? And I was like, no, dude, what? And he's like, hey, we stopped and we picked up some moonshine. Don't worry, you know. <laughs> it's